Never throw away your used soldering iron if it's no longer hot or damaged at home. There's a secret you probably never knew. It's simple yet amazing, and I'm sure after you see the process, you'll be amazed by my discovery. Next, we'll prepare a single electrical cable, a common sight at home. This cable has a crucial component that's often overlooked, brass wire. It's this brass wire that we'll use to create something extraordinary. With a few tricks and a simple process, we can repurpose this brass wire to create a high-quality soldering iron, one that can even rival the brand new solder you'd buy in a store. This is the main advantage of my technique. Many people assume that a damaged soldering iron is unusable and end up throwing it away. In reality, by utilizing the brass electrical wire found around the house, we can transform a soldering iron that previously wouldn't heat up or even die completely into a new one that's just as good as those sold in stores. The result is not only functional, but also produces high levels of heat and is even more stable during use. Imagine, you can get a truly premium soldering iron back without having to spend money on a new one. With this simple technique, we not only save money, but also get creative by creating something useful from something considered useless. For the next step, after the process of stripping the brass cable is complete, here we go straight to the stage of making the coil. The method is quite simple. We take two brass wires that have been peeled, then we twist them together to produce a stronger and neater shape. So, so that the winding results are really tight and sturdy, here I use a rotating drill as a tool. With the help of a drill, these brass coils can be formed quickly, uniformly, and of course much more precisely than if we did it by hand. Once we've finished making the brass coil, the next step is to cut the brass to the required size. This cutting is crucial to ensure the coil is the right size and can be inserted into the used soldering iron we've prepared. Don't make it too long or too short. Ensure the correct size so that the brass will fit securely and won't wobble during assembly. And after completing all the steps above, the next step is to sharpen the brass tip until it's perfectly sharp and precise. This step is crucial, as the sharpened brass tip will replace the old soldering iron tip, which no longer heats up. With this simple technique, we create a new soldering iron tip that's stronger and conducts heat very well. As a result, the previously useless soldering iron can now ignite again at high heat, even faster than the old soldering iron tip. And yes, here's the final result. 
We've now installed the brass we made earlier directly into this used soldering iron. Once it's securely installed, it's time to test how hot our homemade soldering iron tip can get. In just a few seconds, you'll see that this brass tip conducts heat very well. The results were truly astonishing as the previously completely damaged soldering iron now functioned like new, maintaining a high, stable heat output. This proves that with a little creativity and the use of simple materials like brass wire, we can create something useful without having to buy a new one. And finally, after waiting a few moments after plugging in the power stacker, you can see the results for yourself. The soldering tip we just made really gets hot in just a short time. This is clear proof that by using brass from electrical wire, we can create a new soldering tip that's super hot and functions like a premium soldering iron. In essence, using simple household materials, we can revive old, damaged, and useless soldering irons. With this technique, you'll not only save money, but also have a fun experience creating something useful from used materials. And after I tried soldering some of the broken lamp components, you can see the results for yourself. This homemade soldering iron is incredibly hot and bonds the solder very well. Even when I pulled back the soldered connections, they held strong and were incredibly difficult to remove. From this experiment, it is clear that the brass soldering tip that we made earlier is not only functional, but also has extraordinary adhesive and heat resistance. Not only that, but I also conducted another experiment here on the outer layer of an AA battery. When I connected the two outer layers of the battery using my own homemade solder, the results were truly remarkable. You can see for yourself how firmly the tin adhered, and when I tried to pull it back, the connection remained firm and very difficult to remove. From this test, it became increasingly clear that brass soldering irons are not just hot, but also possess reliable strength for a variety of soldering needs. Just imagine, from simple materials and discarded items often overlooked, a tool with truly astonishing performance can be created.